I won't ask you to do an impression, but assuming that you did a convincing Paul Ryan, what were the biggest stumbling blocks for the vice president when he was going up against you? Well, I mean, the biggest issues are, you know, the, sort of the Ryan-Romney worldview. I mean, when you actually boil it down, uh, it's startling. I mean, you know, I, so I think uh, the vice president, I think, you know, it's not that he was hearing these arguments for the first time, uh, but he really believes, I mean, I think we all believe that the sort of Romney-Ryan view of the world is out of touch with middle America. What was the mood like, and how many hours a day were you spending on debate prep? Well, we spent a good amount of time. I mean, we did uh, four full mocks uh, up in Delaware. We did a couple in Washington uh, beforehand. But the mood was upbeat and good. I mean, you know, the issue is, again, you've got all these very important points uh, to make because, you know, and it's, there's just so many possible opportunities to point out what's wrong with the Romney-Ryan plan. And you've got to figure out how to con condense that uh, and focus your, your points. Four years ago, we heard he really enjoyed debate prep and enjoys debating. Did it seem like he was enjoying it? Absolutely. Himself? No, he did. I mean, I think, look, this is an opportunity to go over all the issues and, again, really sharpen the choices uh, in this election. I, he, look, he seemed to do it. He was, he was relaxed, but at the same time focused. Uh, and, you know, he's... He's in good spirits. Uh, you know, he had a chance to be sort of in the mock sessions, uh, but also time at, at home uh, with the family uh, and the dog. And so, you know, it was it was a good opportunity, I think, for them both to sort of uh, focus on all the issues, uh, but also take a step back in the last maybe day and look at the look at the the big picture.